Welcome to Red Zapex, the place for newbies, indies, as well as low budgeters. And this week, guys, I've got a really, really exciting episode. Not just because we're answering this request from Squad GT, who asked for some cool glitching and twitching effects, but this also marks our first ever collaboration. Yes, Red Zapex is crossing over with another filmmaking show, another YouTube channel. And it's a pretty damn good one. I don't know about you guys, but I've been watching him for quite a while now. He always puts out really good filmmaking content, tutorials on After Effects, Adobe Audition, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, tons of stuff on this guy's channel. So without further ado, Mike from Film Masters, say hi. Thank you very much, Uwe's. My name is Michael Freudenberg, and I've put together the Glitcher Pack. The Glitcher Pack contains over a hundred presets of glitches and distortions. Over the last couple of weeks, I have been working fairly closely with Uwe's to make sure that all these files work seamlessly with HitFilm. Now, it also works in After Effects, Premiere Pro, and any other type of editing suite that uses JPEG or MOV files. However, Uwe's is gonna be showing you how to use the Glitcher Pack in hit film so back to you ways thanks mike and basically that's it he's created a really cool free to download glitch pack that comes chock full of tons of stuff like jpeg files mov files distortion map presets a whole bunch of drag and drop glitch elements and a few really cool sound files as well so i definitely encourage you guys to download this pack and i don't know why you wouldn't because it's 100 percent free but anyway uh, mike's video on the pack and where the download link is will be on the end screen of this video so definitely check that out without further ado let me quickly tell you guys what i'm going to be teaching you how to do in this tutorial now as i said the pack comes with a whole few like, displacement preset layers and i'll be showing you how to use those and they look like this as you can see around me i'm looking at invisible things because i'm going to add it in post then it's not here i am a crazy man I'm also going to be teaching you how to transition between clips like you just saw now using glitch effects as well as adding glitch effects on top of your normal clips like I'm doing right now. What he said, he said, let's jump into hit film and get it done. Here we are guys in good old hit film. So let's go over how to use this pack for transitions first. As you can see I have my two clips in my timeline and I'm using a composition but you can easily follow the same steps in an editing timeline. I also have one of the ghost glitches from the pack imported. So let's drag the clip into our timeline and position it above and between our two clips. We can then fine tune the placement and see to it that the section of the clip with the most going on is right in the middle of the two clips. Like this. Now we can set the blend mode to either screen or add based on your preferences. At this point you can scale and position it wherever you want and even add more glitches to build a really layered transition. To use these glitches for normal things like maybe camera glitches or other scenarios, all you have to do is drop it on top of your clip, set the blend mode to add or screen, scale and position and you're done. It's as easy as that. Righto, using the distortion maps is also really easy but a bit different. Here I have the clip that I want to add the distortion to, so let's get to work. First I'll create a grade layer, then I'll drag one of the distortion map presets into my timeline above my grade layer. We can go ahead and turn that off for now. Head to the effects panel and search for the displacement effect. Then add that to your grade layer. All that's left to do is to head into the displacement controls and under the source layer option select our distortion preset layer. Instantly you'll be able to see some really cool displacement occurring all over your clip. You can then once again scale and position your map if you want to and add multiple occurrences of it. It's all up to you. So download the pack, follow all those steps and you should come out on the other side with some really cool looking glitch effects. Anyway guys, that's this week's episode all done. Once again, I want to say thank you to Mike for being such a cool and swell guy. Definitely check out his channel on the end screen of this video. And as always, you can hit me up on my social media right over there. Stay up to date with some things. It's as been increasing the numbers of the followers and social media increasing at a nice pace so i'm happy about that stay tuned for another episode next week which is actually the mid-season finale of reds effects and i will see you in the next video